Welcome to Madden Science. Today we're learning about turtles. Yay, turtles! Today we're exploring the wonderful world of turtle biomimicry. We will dive deep into turtle evolution and the relationship with the natural world and end up with a close look at turtle biomimicry and some potential radical innovations. I'm hoping that this series of videos can be a living document. What I mean by that is that I hope you, the kind watcher, will add in some extra comments, ideas, innovations, connections, corrections, feedback that will be helpful to me and future viewers. Scientists are showing us that turtles have much to teach us. Researchers in Israel, Ben Akrai and Daniel Wagner, have examined turtles and found fascinating shell properties that have numerous implications. The research applications are directed to novel bio-inspired materials, human-made composites like plywood, vernacra or mother of pearl, and ceramics. Take an inspired leap farther. Ultimately, this is a story of the tortoise and the race car, or the turtle and the football helmet, or the terrapin and the phone screen. We'll start with turtle biology and natural history. Travel through their different adaptations and functions, where eventually the biology will bridge the biomimicry, meaning look at how evolution has honed turtles and see what insights we can emulate for potential human innovations. When looking closely at these reptiles, we want to take a close look at their natural history and including their biogeography. Really, how is it that this place, sense of place, how about the mullet down there? How about this sense of place? How has it formed and shaped these turtles? How has it led to different adaptations different functions, different strategies. So what do you know about turtles? The question my three-year-old son asks every time we see a turtle is, Hey dad, what do turtles eat? Well, they eat all sorts of things, depending on their habitat. Turtles eat algae, jellyfish, aquatic plants, insects, worms, some eat fish, some eat dead animals. Here are some neato turtle facts. Turtles live all over the dough. In marine in the tunnel in a moana bits. Some in the giant part of the planet. Like other reptiles. They eat their eggs on land. Yay turtles! The largest turtle is the other back sea turtle. It can be six and a half feet. It can weigh more than one ton. Most turtles at variants, temperatures dependent, sexual selection. My favorite turtle is the Diopolis tortoise. Turtles, yay! I love turtles! Turtles evolved ton, ton and hoary as years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. 200 and years, many years ago. <laughs> In the middle of the Jurassic, along with dinosaurs, the sea honey and fishy feasters. Turtles are ectothermic. Usually referred to is toad butted. This is why you see them. Bastin and the sun on logs. This review from Current Biology reports that more than half of those species are endangered. The paper Turtles and Tortoises Are in Trouble shows some harrowing details. We are very interested in how turtles vary and why. That is, variation as a product of natural selection with 210 million years of research and development. 
noting that an intricate cocktail of abiotic and biotic factors in the turtle's environment have led to their divergent evolution. It's these factors, the context, along with natural selection, that have given rise to unique morphology and adaptations. Turtles are known for their shells. Their shells display a wide variety of shapes and sizes, as well as structure and function. What is the function? Function is absolutely clear, right? Protection. Well, it turns out that fossil and genetic evidence point to a different initial function for the shell. And it's digging prowess. That's right. Turtle shells evolved for digging first, not protection. The shell itself, made of two parts, the carapace and the plastron, is an extension of their widened and connected ribs. It first served as an anchor for digging muscles. Over time, the function shifted, and the trade had been co-opted away from its primary function towards a new one, protection. That is what biologists call an exaptation. Perhaps the most classic example is bird feathers, originally evolved for thermoregulation, only later selected for flight properties. Let's hop on over to AskNature.org. Take a close look at the functions connected to turtles and their shells. AskNature.org is the best and most comprehensive biomimicry website. Seriously. You can spend hours and days exploring on here. You can search in different ways. For our purposes, let's see what's going on with turtles. The database pulls up 13 different biological functions. Click on one and you'll see a more detailed account of each strategy, along with functions performed. For today, we're focusing on just a few of the many evolutionary functions of the remarkable turtle. To help orient, it might help to look at the Biomimicry Functional Taxonomy, basically an organized framework of the functions that living things do. This is a beautiful connected rabbit hole where you can click on the function as performed in this case by the turtle and then see who else is doing it and how. It's a virtual functional family tree. Now, if you're working for a client or doing a project, you would definitely want to take a look sideways and up and down, see who else is performing similar functions and note the adaptations, the strategies, and context. You'd want to mine the research and development of the biosphere. We are largely focusing on protect from physical harm, which includes managed structural forces, and then further managing compression, impact, shear, and tension. Our scientific research papers give us more insight into how we transition from structure to function. Let's stop and think about possible applications. What things could benefit from optimizing functions like these? Manage impact, tension, compression, shear. Protect from animals, resist cracking. The implications and possible innovations are astounding. You can start with the function and apply that, layered on top of innumerable different human innovations and inventions. Three to consider are managing impact during Formula One crashes and regular cars too, managing compression and impact in helmets to decrease head injuries, and making our screens more crack resistant. Biomimicry asks, how is nature solved for different biological challenges? Remember, nature is 3.8 billion years of research and development, and turtles have 210 million. Scientific research in general gives us biological insight to the anatomy of turtle shells, along with a deeper understanding of function. The best, most applicable paper comes from scientists Ben Akrai and Daniel Wagner. Microstructure and the mechanical properties of the turtle carapace as a biological composite shield. I absolutely love their work, their questions, their approach, their methods. Their work is fascinating multi-layered explanation into the scientific method and reveals insights to the turtle's biology and adaptations. Their motivation is to understand the structure and function of turtle shells and other biological armor so as to create and model synthetic 
engineer materials that emulate them. Examples include such materials as ceramics, mother of pearl, and plywood-like polymers. What do these materials and shells have in common? The turtle's 210 million years of evolution has crafted a shell that is a multi-scale biocomposite with components arranged in keratin-coated sandwich-like structural patterns. The shell's microscale architecture leads to its superior and emergent mechanical properties, where the total is greater than the sum of its parts. As we've talked about, these properties and functions include manage impact, tension, compression, shear, protect from animals, resist cracking. Altogether, the turtle shell is a complex hierarchical composite shield. Amazingly, a Cry and Wagner show that the shell is responsive and adaptive and scalable. Just look at this figure. In addition, these sandwich elements are attached to one another in a complex zigzag manner at soft, unmineralized collagen sutures. This structural feature enables deformation of the shell under minor loads for respiration, locomotion, and metabolism. Whereas at higher loads, the shell stiffens as neighboring elements become interlocked. This is a summary figure would really be the basis of a novel bio-inspired emulation. Together, the whole is greater than the sum of its multifunctional parts. Potential designs could tap into one layer or multiple layers, depending on the desired function. Direct applications could be game changers for ceramics and structural composites in construction. Layered together or taken individually, I would love to see these natural technologies applied to perhaps harder, more complex challenges like Formula One racing and car crashes, helmet technology, screen cracking. The potential is unlimited. We'll just have to wait and see. Yay, turtles! Thank you for watching. We hope you learned something and had fun. Take care, everybody. I love turtles!